armut 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 hello everyone welcome to another Irish vlog today i am in roslyn along the roslyn glen and this beautiful place and actually it's sunny the sun has come out after all um so this vlog about foraging for wild ah uh, not for nettle so i'm foraging for nettle or armut in oinish so um it's my first time here in roslyn and along the glen let me see if i can get, get you a view of the actual glen itself um so that's it down there flowing steadily and all that greenery you can see is a mixture of wild leek and wild garlic so way down there that's wild garlic and wild wild leek mixed together but my interest is on nettle or sias and here they are right out um, along the path although it's not ideal to forage for these near the path so here we've got our young nettle which obviously come into fruition a lot later during spring going into early summer but I need some um, of the young plants um, to take home to do some prep I don't know what I'm going to do yet I was thinking of a potato salad <laughs> strange don't listen to me probably who knows I'm that crazy so but dotted amidst all this bramble I want to believe that you've got blackberry and stuff here too um, are the nettle plants going way back up that side where there tend to be loads of it and even here as you can see nice young tender leaves yeah so there are loads of nettle right along this area you know let me see where else here we go loads of nettle plants so when these do get big this entire region will be covered with nettle large plants rather of it Here we go so this is nettle from the Roslyn area along the glen loads of nettle and I'm sure this is just one region so from here go all the way along the side there we've got nettle um, and here's a nice patch so we've got some wild garlic here and just up that side look at that wow nice young ones and furred up so let me see there's some over here too yeah Mm -hmm. so definitely Roslyn's got nettle and this is just along the main path so I'm not getting it directly next to the path even a little in from it should be fine but there are loads more my bag keeping put till I get my nettle I need there must be some easy access yeah there are easy access to nettle I know down there but I'm just browsing I'm just checking to see where else um, nettles could be sourced and it seemed to be right along the edges here and oh yes 
Up here too. Should they? Okay. Let's look. Oh, there are some ground illa plants. Let's see. So in this one bit, you've got nettle, wild garlic, wild leek, and ground elder. I think the nettle is over here too. There are some. Just a wee bit. So nettle, ground elder, wild garlic, wild leek all growing together in harmony. Look at that. In rose. Yep. And I think there are some more. Up. So look, look at Roslyn. As I said, further down, it's filled with a lot of um, wild leek and garlic. But I'm sure there are nettle plants there too. But it's all dotted amidst all the, 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 the garlic stuff, you know. Here we go. Look end up stepping on some of them look so what i'm guessing is so you see this region let me show you this entire region it's not the only place with nettle right but all these areas got nettle the wild leek and some wild garlic seem to cover most of it so you cannot see but it's there my best bet is it will come through eventually and soon the wild leek is going to die off and the nettle is going to remain so it's fine it's just how things work um, during this time so but the nettles are here it's all over it's about looking amidst the, the leek it's just there everywhere as you can see this is a nettle region and this as I said it's just a small part of a larger Roslyn area, yes? And if this one little bit can have so much nettle, can you imagine the other areas? Because it's, it's, it's quite a big place. Maybe not population-wise, but I'm talking about, I wouldn't say this is a park per se, but right along the Glen, there are many options for obtaining nettle. So, so what I do now is I'll get some here I've got my container and I've got a scissors so it's a bit awkward at the moment I hate vlogging and I'm using my phone at the moment that's why I see I keep switching to me and then to the metal because the battery and my GoPro ran out because I've been vlogging um, for wild garlic, wild leek, and ground elder. The battery died. So now, I'm using my mobile. So hopefully the, the video is as good. So now I'm just going to get a few bits of the metal. So, snippity snip. And in the container. The Roslyn... Nettle or armut in Oinish. It's translated as armut. Normally, eh, without a camera, if someone was recording for me, then I probably would have put on a gloves and cut. But because I'm doing it on my own, I'm, I'm just using the scissors to do the work to cut and to. To take it up but it can be a bit tricky you know and some nettles don't some of the nettle plants don't want to cooperate because once they you know once they go into oinish's container crazy recipes are going to result from like the mativna And maybe they're not keen to want to be in my native now. As if they've got a choice. I don't think they've got a choice. <laughs> there we go. It's an awkward way to forage. But I guess without the GoPro, 
I don't have a choice. I have to just um, use the camera, not the camera, the mobile. Let's cut over there. Technology is amazing, isn't it? So here you've got this gadget and it stores a photo, make your calls, do video co conference, store pictures, do Microsoft Word stuff, PDF, etc. Record stuff. So it means that if your GoPro run into power issues, your mobile, which has been doing all that, can now record your video for you. Gosh, what a age we're living in. No wonder on the bus, no wonder on the bus or wherever you go, people are glued to their mobile because you've got this one gadget that can do so many different stuff. You know, it's endless what you can do when you take out a mobile. It's, you just keep going from TikTok to Facebook to Instagram to YouTube to your mom calling you about certain stuff till your wife calling you about certain stuff till your enemy calling you about certain stuff till someone calling Oynish about making a recipe with Armut or Netto it means that I've got to get a little bit more Netto not a lot I just need a touch of it so let me just get a little bit more The last thing I want is that the nettle gang up on me, you know. I don't want to be nettled. Have you been nettled before? And all that itch, oh my gosh, I mean, it's so uncomfortable. It, it is really uncomfortable. Oh gosh, this, this one fall apart. You know? That's, I hate using just the scissors. I'll try this one. Yeah. Nettle attack. Let me go down there. But I'm not up for any nettle attack here in Roslyn. Mm -mm. So, I'll be careful. Get. So like Musselborough, there are loads of nettle in this region. The difference though is this region is a lot larger than Musselborough along the river is path that is. So there are just loads more options. Even in terms of wild leek and garlic, there's just so much more wild leek and garlic to be added and grown elder because it's just a larger area than the river esk path in Musselboro. So oh that one fall apart. I hate when, when they fall apart. So the idea is to cut just below here so it really don't fall apart. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. There we go, that should be enough. Yeah. As you can see, when I forage, I don't tend to take a lot of stuff. So when I do foraging vlogs, the idea is to get an essence of what foraging is like in Scotland, especially in the area where I live, because I live in Edinburgh. So I have access, easy access to mid and east Lothian. I've never tried West Lothian. I should do one before spring is through a West Lothian vlog. What do you think? Yes? A foraging vlog. Does anyone out there live in West Lothian where I could go forage for wild garlic? Do you know of any place in West Lothian that is good for wild garlic or ground elder or wild leek? Let me know. And leave a, 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 um, a comment with the information so I can, can visit that area. So I'm trying to cover different parts of my neighboring areas that's forageable. 
So thus the wait, where is it? Oh my gosh, I think I've left the cover for the silly me. I've left the cover up there. You know. That's what happened when you start to fear the nettle and they attacking you. You run away, leave the cover itself. You can't help, come on. <laughs> That's okay. He's, he's, he's joining the foraging campaign. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. For fear of the nettle attack, I run away and left the cover. So you can tell. Nettle and I don't get along ever. We tried with with ground elder, with pals. With wild garlic, great. With wild leek, wild leek is a bit sometimes-ish. But with nettle, it's a no-no. We just never get along. Once arrive on the scene, then all bets are off in terms of any type of partnership. So it's a cat and mouse game with me and nettle. So in most cases, I leave it a niche. Yep, that's what they do to me. But I end up getting some of them in my butter container. I am going to butter them up for success. Yes? Butter them up for success. So let's see what we've got so far in terms of the nettle. And out there. Up here on your best behavior. Stop the fussing and fighting. Good. Because there's nothing you can do to stop being consumed. Yes. So. We are going into some food later. I don't know yet. So. Get ready to be buttered up. So thanks for watching this nettle vlog. As I said, my GoPro died on me, so I know I had to resort to using my mobile. So, well, thanks though. But this is nettle foraging in Midlothian along the Rosling Glen. Thank you for watching.